What's going on guys? It is Michael and how about that new intro? I decided to change up the intro because I wanted something a little bit shorter and the whole reason I changed it is because I was watching The Office and every time I watch The Office on DVD, I always skip the intro and I got to thinking, hey, Maybe the people watching my videos are sick of the intro, so I went for short and sweet, and I hope you guys like it. But anyway, I've got a little bit of a story before we go ahead and get into this topic. So, I was sitting in my business communications class, and this is the kind of class where you just don't pay attention and class just goes on and on and on because the teacher is teaching you things like, so, you wanna get in touch with someone. Should you send a letter or write an email? What one do you think is quicker? Obviously email, but you guys get the point. It's really boring. Now, she was talking about this and then she brought up the subject of, I can't seem to lose weight no matter what I do. She says, I've watched all these infomercials and they promise great results and I always get suckered into buying them, but I actually never lose the weight. So it's just a vicious cycle of wasting money. And that kind of can go into the topic of today's video, and that is stop searching for the perfect diet. All of the time, I will see people saying, I'm gonna try a low fat diet, and keep in mind, fat is an essential macronutrient. It's really important just for overall health. So going on a low fat diet isn't the smartest thing. And you name it, there's a ton of other diets and people are always looking for the perfect one. And I think people could get a lot better results if they would just stick to moderate protein, carbs, and fats and just focus on the calorie deficit instead of trying all of these really random and obscure diets that don't really work. And really, you can say the exact same thing about fat burner pills. It's actually kind of funny. Sometimes I will see supplement companies giving out sample packets of fat burners. And I really have no idea what a sample package of a fat burner will do. I mean, what is the person taking it just gonna say, oh, I took two little pills, I can really notice a lot of fat came off my belly. No, it's not the case at all. So people always get sucked into these diet programs, these magic pills that don't work when really, the only thing that works is eating less calories, eating in a deficit. That is what is going to get you to lose weight. So I'm just trying to save you guys some money. If you're one of those people that are watching TV and you see some great infomercial or even that belt that you wear, you know, that vibrates and apparently it stimulates your muscles and can give you a six pack. If you see something like that, it's too good to be true. It really is. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, guys but it is, it's too good to be true. So that's really the only reason I wanted to make this video. There is no perfect diet. The only perfect diet is the one that will get you results and the one that you're happy with. But that's pretty much all I wanted to say on that topic. But I was thinking about that video that I made last week talking about if you would like me to make a cookbook and everyone said yes. So thank you guys so much for supporting that idea even though I haven't done anything yet. But here's the thing. I don't want to release the cookbook under my name and just call it the Michael Corey cookbook because I'm not Betty Crocker, you know? I can't put my name on a cookbook and expect people to know what it's about or what it is. So I've been trying to think of things to call it and if you guys have any suggestions, help me out, leave some comments. I know you're watching and I know you never leave a comment and you really should because it helps other people find the videos. And if you guys have Twitter, or Facebook, or Instagram, you can follow me down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a good Monday, and I'll talk to you next time.